<laughs> Sunny debate continues to evolve as the goalpost continues to move. <laughs> but the moon point remains. Did the West Indies batsmen at the ICC World Cup play rash, aggressive, high-risk shots because they are technically incapable of taking ones and twos or because they consciously bought themselves to hit boundaries instead of rotating the strike? <laughs> Which theory sounds more sensible and rational? Me not often think about it. West Indian batsmen bat this way by choice. It's calculated decision they make to back themselves to hit at least one four or one six per over instead of running four singles or even six singles. If these same West Indian batsmen were motivated to take singles, they would have learned to do it. Anyhow, for example, multi-million dollar IPL contracts were being offered to these same batsmen in a singles format of the game. <laughs> Not the four or six would have leaked across the region. <laughs> Strike rotation would now be their incentivized choice. As it is now, these West Indian batsmen are not strike rotators, they are boundary hitters by choice. After all, they can earn big money in T20 hitting fours and sixes, and when they get out playing these reckless shots with half of the overs to spare, <laughs> we call that brainless cricket. <laughs> and anybody who don't understand that is also guilty of brainlessness. <laughs>